Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Advistics. In this episode we're going to do just something a little bit different. Usually you tune in to see what kind of modifications we're doing to the sports dress, but in this episode I wanted to show a little bit of how we get some of the footage we bring to you. When we're doing our riding show, we want to mount the camera somewhere here on the motorcycle. And usually I rely on a lot of the GoPro accessories, uh, especially like suction cup. Typically I'll attach it to a gooseneck. That way I can uh, get the height or be able to shift the lens to a certain angle. It gives me a little bit of flexibility. Also real popular in the GoPro world is these alligator clips right here. You can pretty much put them on the handlebar, any position, and get the shot you really need. Uh, but what we're going to focus on in this particular episode, I saw this really neat Kimimoto mount that actually attaches to the brake fluid or replaces the brake fluid cap, the front brake fluid cap right here, and gives you the mounting points to add a GoPro. So instead of having to add an additional mount or put a mount on there, this is just there when you need it. You quickly just put your GoPro on there and you're off to the races. You can face it forward, you can face it at you. So we're going to give this a try and see if we get the appropriate shots we need on this motorcycle. Looks to be the piece that screws into the top. That is your master cylinder cover to replace the factory one. Should be fairly easy. Since we're going to be working on brake fluid, brake fluid is extremely corrosive. It will eat through any paint. You could write profanities on somebody's car with it. When they come out in the morning, it'll be permanent. It's horrible. But because we're not looking to put profanities on here, and just express a few here, we're going to cover the tank up. One way to neutralize brake fluid, the best way to neutralize it is water. So if you get something on the paint, get it wet as fast as you can and just flood it with water. We're using old microfiber tiles I got, ones that basically got to destroy. So we're going to wrap it around because it will change the color. Black aluminum pieces also. So we're going to grab a glass of water to have just in case. Right. Besides the microfiber tiles we put down, we tried to make this as level as possible to spill the least. There is a window on here that you can adjust. These are P2 screws in the top. Being this bike is only a year old, hopefully they come out nice and easy. So the plastic is under here with the Harley piece. You're going to have to reuse this. The screws do not want to just fall out of. So you're going to have to unthread them. I've got brake fluid on my fingers, so I'm gonna wash my hands real quick before I touch the back side of this. Give me one second. So Chad, you're just using the the screws that came with it. Yes. You're just yep. Attaching everything back together. All master cylinders, diaphragm, it's in, which is good. We'll set this part back into the Master cylinder first. I do think Harley did a good job designing this versus the Hondas and stuff I've worked on, which only have a two screw master cylinder. I do like the three. Most stuff, thread them in all the way around lightly before you go back and torque them down. All right, we got that on. I'm gonna put a washcloth, wipe this down, make sure that's water on top and not brake fluid. Looks like we did it without any spills. So actually not too bad. This nice aluminum, the design on top, um, really makes it look actually a little bit more stylish. Here's the manufacturer, Harley Davidson one. And I think that you're right, Chad. This might be uh, like a light aluminum piece. It's not, a, it's not plastic. Um, but this is heavier gauged aluminum. I really like the look of it. Uh, and there's your screw hole to attach your GoPro mount. So let's take a look at that. Okay, now that we got the Kimimoto 
brake reservoir GoPro cover on the bike. We're gonna go ahead and attach this GoPro mount to it. This comes with the Kimimoto pieces as well. You got on the top, the standard action camera mount, the three prongs, and then just a standard screw on the bottom. That'll actually go into the top cover. And once you get that positioned, this action mount in the right place, you just twist this and that'll tighten it up. It does not come with the actual GoPro screw or Osmo screw either. Um, so if you're like most GoPro people, you're gonna have a couple of these lying around. So just take your GoPro camera, get it situated. There you go. You can position it to where it's more in front of you. You can obviously get the right angle. And if you wanna get it to face you, which probably is the more appropriate angle for a handlebar mount is usually the rider's perspective or the rider profile. Let's stick it on there. Again, if you're familiar with GoPros, this is a two second setup. All in all, the installation of this Kimimoto brake reservoir GoPro, our action camera mount took less than 10 minutes. Uh, really what it comes down to is just make sure that you're being careful with the brake fluid. Don't get it on anything just, and that way you won't run into any issues. So point this thing at me. And now you have a pretty good GoPro mount that you can leave in place whenever you need it. I like it. Thanks for joining us. Ride safe, everybody. Make sure to check out the video description for a link to the Kimimoto motorcycle camera mount. And for a short limited time, get a 10% discount. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and like the video. See you next time.